hear that in the background or not, but that's Prince Leah sounding off this morning. I've just been in the coop and gathered eggs, and I've got a few more things I want to do in there, but we've set a new record. First time I've ever had seven eggs in one day, and it's early in the morning. Sometimes there are eggs in the afternoon, but it looks like all six of the large birds laid an egg and, and one banty. This is the the banty egg up here, the small one in the corner. And I almost think this one probably was laid by Matilda. She's been laying the largest egg, and quite often it's a double yoker, although that one isn't quite big enough, I don't think. Anyway, I had to show off the seven egg morning here. And I'm out in the hoop house. It's getting colder now. We're having more seasonable weather. Been on, on unreal how warm it's been, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. But last night it was down below freezing, uh, minus one according to the thermometer up at my house, and uh, at some point in the last week or so it's gone down to minus two in here in the hoop house, which still hasn't caused a great deal of damage, but I've got mice and moles in here. Uh, the moles, I believe, are doing the, the most damage, and they're very hard to catch. They can't be caught in a mouse trap. They're not interested in that kind of bait, I guess. I did catch one mouse, but uh, this is the patch where the uh, Chinese cabbages were, the two different kinds of Asian cabbage, and the beets that were here. The beets didn't amount to anything anyway, but they hauled the beets down through from down below and, and ate the beets. And all of the cabbage the other day that were left here, I've eaten a lot of them, but the few that were left here had all been eaten off at the base, and it was just loose leaves lying there. So I harvested all of that and took it up and fed it to the hens. They enjoyed it. I've had the row cover on last night, and I'll be using it every night, I guess, from now on. But I'm just about to take it off, and I'll show you what it looks like under the row cover. But I think I'm going to harvest the broccoli today. Um, it's still growing, but uh, I've noticed some discoloration on top of the heads, which I think is probably being cold, caused by the cold nights. And I don't want to lose it. There's enough broccoli there for a couple of meals at least, and I hate to see it go to waste. So I'm going to harvest that this morning, but I'll show you what's under the row cover here. Now you can see a few more brown leaves down at the base of some of these brassica plants. I'm sure a lot of that is being caused by the cold weather, but that also tends to happen in the summertime in, in the garden. The lower leaves die back, but I think the lack of, of sunlight here, we're down into shorter days this time of year, and combined with the cold weather is slowing things down quite a bit. And I'll show you what I mean by the broccoli heads. I'm getting a pretty good size, but you can see the center of that one is not looking quite right. And the same with the center of this one. So I'm going to harvest that and take it in. I had uh, some more of the kale last night. Took a lot of the lower leaves again off these kale plants, but they continue to look very nice. I don't know how long kale might go. I've seen kale in northern Spain. Um, Portugal too, I guess, but it was southern Portugal. But in northern Spain, I've seen kale plants that go eight, nine, ten feet tall, just the fringe of leaves at the top. I think they must keep them going for years. But northern Spain does get cold weather in the wintertime, not not like we get here, but they get minus temperatures. So I don't know. I suspect this might go on into December if I keep it covered at night. It's delicious, so I hope it goes long as, on as long as possible. And here are the cabbages. They're still quite small, uh, but they're nice firm heads. Sort of squeeze that one a bit for you to show you. They're probably what four inches across, I guess. This one here is probably a bit bigger. And then there's this very curious variety here. I'm not quite sure. They're out of this package of seeds that's just called all season cabbage. So there's several varieties of cabbage. This one's sort of like a long stem rose. It grows on a long, longer stem and then has the head at the top, which is warming up quite nicely. So. I'll leave the cabbages for a while longer. The outside leaves don't even seem to be bothered, so they're doing okay. I'll give you a little look at the uh, Brussels sprouts, which are 
are forming up. I don't want to get too close because this camera has a weird focal range, but they're small still. I'm going to put a finger in there to show you the comparison. But they are continuing to grow, and these are the plants so that are getting more of the yellow foliage down at the base. So I'm not sure how much longer that will go on. Anyway, I'm going to pick the broccoli. Well, that's not bad for a broccoli harvest on the 18th of November. I rarely in the past have ever had broccoli beyond late September, so that's good. I think I'm going to cut down the plants, so I don't think there's any chance of getting the side shoots of broccoli that you get in the, in the summer months. So I'll cut down the plants, and I'll take those up and give them to the hens. They love all the broccoli leaves and uh, cabbage leaves and that sort of thing. So I'll turn the rest of the broccoli plants into eggs, I guess. That's the girls enjoying their broccoli plants. Huh? And I'm in the coop for a project. Not enough light in here probably to show you what I'm about to do. But I built these this roost four layers high <laughs> and they don't sleep on it. Uh, the rooster sleeps on it and last night I think one of the barred rocks joined him. Everybody else goes up into the rafters here and they fall down. When they're trying to get up there they push each other off. So what I'm going to do is put, you can see the boards laying there. I'm sort of putting a catwalk the length of the rafters hoping that once they've flown up on the first rafter, they will walk the catwalk over to the end and uh, eliminate some of the problems when they're going to bed at night. I don't know why they want to be up in the rafters, but there doesn't seem to be anything I can do about it. They're going to be up in the rafters. So Get that little project underway, I guess. And such as it is, there's the catwalk installed. It doesn't go quite over at the last rafter, but it goes over within a few inches of it. Well, eight, ten inches of it. No problem for them to jump over there. And I'll have to come out tonight and see if that's an improvement or not. Or maybe the girls are being critical and it should be removed. Time will tell. Thank you for watching.